Hi guys welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the Bermuda Triangle. When you take a map in your hand and look at it, many mysterious events have taken place in this region, which is seen in the form of a triangle, unexplained up to this time. The exact number of ships, planes, and people lost is not known. For this reason, it has been referred to for a long time with names such as Cursed Place or Devil's Triangle, and even today we use these names from time to time. The Bermuda Triangle is a triangular area covering an area of 500,000 square miles of the Atlantic Ocean, located on the southeastern coast of the United States, which opens into the Atlantic Ocean, and from a bird's eye view lies within the borders of Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. Hundreds of ship and aircraft wrecks are found in this part of the ocean. The number of ships that sank, planes that crashed and people who disappeared in the last 100 years is expressed in 1000s. It was said that there are very large magnet mineral resources under the water in this region, and therefore the aircraft were affected by this intense magnetic attraction and their electronic systems were disrupted, and accordingly they fell. This has been believed for so many years that, according to some, there could be absolutely no other explanation. But on the other hand, if something like this happened, why do ships sink? Or was this magnetism strong enough to pull and swallow even a ship? Absolutely no. Even if there was a magnet effect and the ship was attracted by the principle of opposite poles, it would not be possible for it to generate enough power to sink a ship standing on the surface of the water. In addition, measurements made in that region have repeatedly proved that there is no excessive or above-normal magnetic field. This region is described as follows in the minutes of the American Coast Guards District 7 Directorate No. 5720. The Bermuda Triangle or the so-called Devil's Triangle is an area in the Atlantic, off the southeast coast of the United States, where there is a very high rate of unexplained ship, boat and aircraft losses. The mysterious 700,000 square meter triangle stretching between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda has been a mystery for more than 100 years, with an unusual amount of decimated shipwrecks appearing in the area. The New York Times newspaper claimed that at least 50 ships, 20 airplanes, and more than a thousand people have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle over the past 500 years. This mysterious event, which no one has been able to provide a satisfactory explanation for for many years, was thought to be the work of a supernatural force by many people, including scientists. Among these claims, it is said that the magnetic field created there by extraterrestrial beings has an effect on the region many times during their visits, and even Christopher Columbus mentioned unidentified objects flying in the sky in the region in his diaries. On the other hand, there are also those who base the events that occur on reasons such as sudden weather changes, methane gas output, tidal waves, and hot water discharge. However, there is no proven case. The first reports of the region date back to about 600 years ago, that is, the 15th, it belongs to the century. But the most important report that made it so famous is the complete and complete disappearance of the air fleet called Flight 19 in 1945. A group of naval fleet torpedo bombers Ulan Flight 19 is the first case of a flying vehicle disappearing inside the Bermuda Triangle. On December 5, 1945, five planes and their 14 crew members took off from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, for routine training, and were never seen or heard from again. The planes, which disappeared in the area known as the Bermuda Triangle, left no debris behind. One of the two planes that took off to search for the five aircraft also disappeared in an interesting way. The next day, a total of 300 ships and aircraft decamped to search an area of 777,000 square kilometers, but no trace of the missing aircraft was found. Marine Captain David White said, we have carried out search efforts with hundreds of aircraft, searched the land and sea for days, but we have not been able to find decimated debris or bodies. History.com According to a recording of a radio broadcast by Captain Charles C., the experienced flight leader and captain of the five aircraft. 
Taylor reported them lost at sea. In the broadcast radio recording, Taylor is heard saying, both my compasses are not working and I'm trying to find Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Scientist Dr. Carl Krusselnicki says that the captain of Flight 19, Captain Taylor, was told that he had to move in a westerly direction, but Taylor chose to move in an easterly direction. Krusselnicki believes that the missing search plane decayed. It is claimed that the compasses of aircraft and ships entering the Bermuda Triangle do not work. Some remain said to be the wreckage of Flight 19, about which numerous conspiracy theories have been put forward, were reached in 1991. However, as a result of the investigations, it turned out that the debris found did not belong to Flight 19. It is believed that the reason for the disappearance of the planes that entered the Bermuda Triangle is that the planes ran out of fuel and crashed into the ocean as a result. The number of vehicles, sea and air, that disappeared without a trace over the region is approximately over 200. And there is no explanation for this region yet. As a result of all the searches conducted, nothing was found. What do you think about the lost ships and planes? What do you think is the reason for these losses? I look forward to your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel.